Hey Zanzorians, welcome back. We are continuing Simulacra 3. It's been a little bit, so I'm not 100% certain where I am. Alright, so I went back and I just confirmed that this is exactly where we are, so I'll reread these prompts, but we have not replied. So, we're good. The last time I ended this in the very first one, I ended it in between saves, so I had to like catch up and I didn't want to ruin anything by making a different choice. So, Paul thinks the symbols are linked to the disappearances based on what exposure. Not what I had in mind, but I should have expected this. Things tend to go off the rails with Paul. Have you seen this symbol before? Maybe in passing? It's everywhere. Like the number 23. It's not something that would capture my attention. Looked like everyday vandalism to me. Anyway, I'm at the warehouse. Hopefully, we'll find something to prove or disprove Paul. Also, back to what I said about the headlines. Aside from the victims, our article's gonna need one, two, something sticky. Uh, we need a headline for the article. What about the vanishing... Of stone cream. Nah. This just in reporter gets ahead of herself. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, we could do something with their names. I'll say that. Whatever. I don't really care. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> Where's the spark? The punch. Um, not the Kool-Aid man. Uh, people are already becoming desensitized to the individual reports. What they uh, they want to be entertained to treat outraged as much as they want to care. What? Okay, I didn't like that at all. Oh, I got goosebumps. Oh my god. It said let me in. That was right up in my face. <laughs> I didn't like that at all. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, that got me pretty good. All right, let's go back to the chat. Uh, what is this? Hold on. I need to catch back up. Um, what was this? <laughs> They are entertained, intrigued, outraged as much as they want to care. Hold that thought. I'm close to pause location of the video. Should be right about... What do we have here? Okay, yeah, that's the video. Yeah, it looks like... Oh, there's the symbol. And like it looks like an outline of the dude. Uh, this is the exact spot that man was standing. Do you see that on the door? Uh, we don't know that this appeared. No. It looks familiar. That's the eye. Wait, I think I'm seeing it too, but why is this one so unsettling? The others are less grotesque. Rook, this is great news. The story is shaping up. Mysterious symbols appearing in town. People vanishing. It writes itself. We also have some weird witch thing in the phone that walked down the hall at me. Didn't like that. Wait, uh, that man really vanished into thin air? Oh, we're going to say that. I like that one. <laughs> A bull? Uh, all I can say is I've checked and there's no trace of him here. I don't see any security cameras to review from when Paul bolted either. I want I want to get on top of this now. There's a couple of threads to follow. Uh, well, that guy in the video was his colleague. He mentioned to get more reports from Persephone. Yeah, let's go with Persephone. She's probably going to finally get back to us. Yeah, maybe from his network. I'm not sure if that's a person, an organization, or a place. He gets carried away with his code names. Okay, let's go with this. Right! The guy in a video is his colleague. Maybe I can find something from where he works. Uh, since you have his phone, why not you figure out who or what Persephone is, and I will pay a Paul's office a visit. Uh, I'm on it. Get me posted, Rook. I will do the same if I run into any hiccups. Okay, cool. Persephone's getting back to me. Um, Paul, where have you been, buddy? You dumped a bunch of stuff on me and broke our contact protocol. Then you went MIA. Uh, what's going on? Did you find another florist to befriend? What is this? Paul's missing. I'll say that. Missing? 
Why do you have his phone? What do you want with me? Answer, I'll make sure you'll never buy flowers in this town again. Uh, we'll say this. I'm with Ruby Myers. Ruby Myers? From the papers? <laughs> this is worse than I imagined. I thought I escaped her. Nothing good can come out of Ruby reaching out to me. Uh, so you know her. I worked with her. Not anymore. Not again. Please don't make me... If you're with Ruby, you should be very careful. Her methods are extreme like a cockroach. Instinctive, quick, undying. I almost admire her for it. She scares me. Uh, extreme how? I think we kind of get that, but... Barriers don't exist to Ruby. She'll put herself in extreme dangerous situations just to get a news report. Once she gets first blood, her angle, nothing stands in her way of getting the story she wants. Like I said, a cockroach. A scary cockroach that speaks and writes. I never knew what to make of it. Though Paul assures me her heart is in the right place. But you didn't come to me about Ruby. You want to know about Paul. Uh, Paul mentioned you in his notes. I'd hope not. I take my privacy very seriously. Persephone is just a code name with Paul. Uh, most, most know me as the modest florist and flower shop owner. But if you're looking for stuff or things, I am Damien. Purveyor of the unobtainable for my clients. Uh, what kind of stuff? Anything and everything. Flowers, documents, surveillance, so long as you have a good cause that I align with. Uh, I'm what you call a fixer for legal reasons. I prefer purveying of the unattainable. People come to me with when there's too much red tape, so I fix things and help them. That makes me sound more like a handyman. Are you good at finding people? That's a good question to ask. No, I wouldn't invade them like that. I will have her look into them for you. Yes, there is a difference. No, I won't explain. Uh, I used to be better at it, but people are getting surprisingly better at covering their tracks these days. I know where this is going. You, you want to know more about the disappearances, don't you? It was a strong concern of Paul's too. Uh, you know something about the disappearances? <clears throat> well, there's a strong fear permeating throughout Stone Creek, all revolving the missing person's cases. Some think that the Beldum is back, others say it's publicity stunt. Uh, least I'm not the only one on my toes. Uh, I heard of the Beldum, you know, I know that's the witch. Why do you believe it's a stunt? It's the sympathy and attention it generates towards Stone Creek, most importantly a council, makes them look incompetent and evil. I'm not a cockroach, but even I know that bad press could halt their development plans. They're on thin ice as it is. Maybe I shouldn't speak of this. Someone could be listening. Did you know that he was following someone? This is useful. Yes, and I might have helped him with that. Paul was looking to a colleague of his, Jeff Howard. I think he works for that organization. He was a pretty normal guy until he disappeared for a few days and came back acting strange and distant. Apparently, he never... Left work, Paul suspected he might be up to no good. What did he ask from you this time? Paul wanted a whole background check, police records, digital footprint, you know, standard stuff. He also asked for surveillance. What this guy did on a day-to-day, -day, for the most part, it was uneventful. Except he had periods where he'd blank out in the middle of doing something and zone out for a few hours, just staring. Creepy. Paul thought that if he could get a closer look at Jeff's life, he find a connection to the other disappearances in town. Nothing turned up until we saw something weird. Uh, what was weird about it? Paul noticed that Jeff stayed late for work every night. The guy never went home except when Paul stayed back to try and catch him. Then he'd disappear. We wanted to see what he was up to at night in the office. I got access... Whoop. Uh, uh, back up. I got access to the cameras and well, this happened. Okay, we got a video here. Go ahead and scan this. Graveyard shift. Jeff was glued to a seat for days. Something had a hold on him. Got a hold on you. Now you're what? I'm trying to look in the reflection here. Oh, there's the eyeball.
weird. What the hell is that? Okay. Um, that's odd. Uh, what was near the end in the shadows? Hands? Yeah, that's what it looked like. Shh, <laughs> I don't want to be cursed. Uh, you want to know something creepier? That mark on a screen? We shouldn't look at it. I probably should have warned you beforehand. It's too late, I've already seen it all over the place. When Paul wanted me to help with the disappearances, he asked me to look into each location, see if there was a link to it all. I don't know how, but the symbol was everywhere, sprouting wherever those missing folks, folks were last seen. Can you track down its origins? That's actually very helpful. I'd rather not, especially without Paul. Looking at it gives me the sweats. It's like an eye looking back at me. Something about it looks familiar, but I can't place it. Listen, I think we've spoken enough for now. It's best if we part ways. If you find something else, I prefer if you left me out of it. Uh, okay, so I guess I can get back with Ruby. Uh, okay, his name was Jeff Howard. Here's the video of him being boring. Let's see what she has to say about it. A normal person would have died from staying awake that long. Uh, there's so many things wrong with this video. Mm. Uh, I doubt it's edited. Did you see the figure on the floor? Yes, you saw it too. Does pretty obvious. Uh, what is it? Is there even an explanation? Uh, it's a ghost. <laughs> Seriously, now you sound like Paul. Uh, don't ghosts appear as orbs or something? I can't watch this anymore. It's starting to creep me out. Uh, the symbol on his computer. Sharp eyes, Rook. Um, it just popped up on his screen and kept coming back. Did someone send it to him? Did he look for it himself? He's completely entranced by this symbol. Uh, maybe he hears something. What if he sees something we don't... Oh, that's a good one. Maybe, maybe he does see something. Interesting theory. Too bad there's no way to test it. Ugh, this video is a great find. Uh, wish I didn't cut off the good part. Wish it didn't cut off the good part. Um, I guess we're just going to say this portion too. Uh, it could be edited. I don't think that's the case. It's sped up and stitched for brevity, but it hasn't been altered beyond that. Um, what kind of company is this? The best kind that we definitely need more of these days, a social media company. Oh, Miratech. So much for looking out for the working class. Luckily, I'm here to help. Uh, how did you find it? What, Miratech? One of the guys from video was wearing a logo shirt. I uh, thought it looked familiar, so I searched through some photos on the Stone Creek Citizen. There enough. It was Miratech's old design. Uh, that's beside the point. The receptionist has been on her cell the whole time, and she keeps giving me the hand. Uh, I need you to do me a favor. Um... Okay, what trouble are we getting into now? No trouble, just a little fun exercise. I'm forwarding the number for the front desk, call it and get her to step away. Uh, make something up that she can't ignore like an emergency or something. The more extreme, the better. Uh, she won't answer our questions, so I'll need to find them for us. Um, okay. Yep, I've always wanted to do something like this. Cute, I won't stand in your way then. Think of it like a prank call, nice and quick. Uh, call now, Rook. I've been on by when she leaves. Break a leg. Mira Technologies, your guide to the future. You've reached the front desk. This is Morgan speaking. How can I help you? Um, let's Hello. say this. It's not every day I get a request like that. Tell me, what is this about, officer? Did I do something wrong? She's acting a little weird. No, you're not in trouble. Just following up on some leads. Good luck with that, because I'm not saying anything until you tell me what's going on. You guys sure are fickle. Last time, you said there was nothing more you could do about Jeff. Just took the security tapes and shut it down in less than 20 minutes. So why should I help you? Um, we know you were here the night Jeff went missing. And I would have told 
told you that if you bothered with the investigation. <sighs> this might come back to bite me, but consequences be damned. If you're really going to look for Jeff this time, I'll help. What happened to him needs to be known. Uh, appreciate your cooperation. You can thank me by finding him. Let's continue this once I reach the station. Be there in a few. Yeah, <laughs> see you later, sucker. Okay, well, I was a police officer. That's a felony. <laughs> All right, uh... So yeah, I'm not sure what you said, Morgan. Uh, not sure what you said to Morgan, but she got out of there fast. Not too shabby, Rook. Gave me plenty of time to play Nancy Drew and meddle with mirror attack. Uh, did you find out where Thomas is? Thomas. It's a bit more complicated than I thought. Trust tech companies to keep an iron grip on their secrets, but keep a loose lid on yours. No, no word on where Thomas is, but we can find him if we follow his tracks, I've got a schedule, a voice recording, and a sticky note. Which do you want to see first? Uh, let's see the schedule. Let's take a look. What are you doing? Uh, what's with the HR earlier this week? Yeah, there we go. Handling the incident sounds like a party. Uh, I'm putting my money on Jeff, but I wouldn't put it past them to have other things go wrong. Thomas is a creature of habit. Never fails to start the day with coffee. I wonder if there's a clue in Paul's phone to know which cafe he went to. Actually, we do know that. Um, I thought we know that. Stone Creek's a small place. There's not many cafes around. That's true. There's only two, I think. There better be a chain joints. Uh, you go out for the orders, that's for sure. Whoops, no offense, Rook. Fingers crossed, Paul kept Thomas company in the weeks prior to this. Looks like he was a frequent tag along. Okay. Voice recordings. Ooh, I'll scan that. Thomas's dog accident. Okay. Morgan, change of plans. Just got my morning coffee and I feel like working at my favorite spot today. So let's move my meeting there too. Could you reach out and send an invite to... Uh, get that under control. What? Think you're the only one trying to have a nice stroll through the park? <sighs> Son of a... The only reason you have green fields is because of us. Morgan, just inform the client about the new location and get here with a clean shirt in 15 minutes, would you? So we're at the park. Someone had a rough morning. The fresh air did him no good. Did not do him good. Uh, Thomas does not sound like a nice person. No, he doesn't. The only time people like him are nice is when cameras are around or they need something from you. Stick to fluff if you ever meet him. Uh, works wonders, even through gritted teeth. Anyway, Greenfields, that should be Greenfields Park. Uh, so he went there after his morning coffee, but where did he go after that? Uh, let's look at the sticky note. Um, Thomas to collect him where Paul did. Deal with Jabber. Another way for Thomas to leverage his power in Stone Creek. What is he planning? Ah, uh, focus, Ruby. See if you can find anything about Paul picking up this same client and where. This could paint a better picture of Thomas's trail. Uh, oh, yeah, we can probably use Atlas for this. We have three locations to pinpoint Thomas. Atlas has this linking feature to plan routes. Paul's modified the version on his phone. If you retrace Thomas's steps from today, it'll find his elusive favorite spot. Oh, wow, okay. So the places he's been will lead us to where he is now. Yep, that's the work in theory. Uh, if that fails, report him missing on the Stone Creek Citizen website and risk our jobs. <laughs> You'll need to find proof of sorts to attach to each location. Uh, we have the vo voice note when Thomas was at Greenfield, so that's one down. Keep an eye out for something that ties him to the coffee shop in Burke's location. Then connect them according to his exact movements. The schedule I sent should help with that. Okay, time to go hunting. Let's find our CEO. While you're off to find dear old Thomas, I'm going to hang around Mira for a while. 
that video wasn't right. Maybe there's more I can find about it. Or if there were any similar cases, what else is there to do here? Uh, do here but dig. Good luck. All right. A uh, whole bunch of stuff. Where's that park? Pet watch. All right. This is clearly what's supposed to go here. So we just unlocked Greenfields Park. Wait a minute. It's not this to this to this, is it? It is that. Okay. Yeah, so they Paul met him at the grind. He obviously went to the park, and then there was a note that actually said to meet him where Paul met him, which was the bus stop. Um, this was Burke, by the way. Uh, anyway, uh, so we unlocked some things, and I did want to show off this really quick. I watched this video in full. It's pretty messed up. Here, check this out. So he's making notes. This is Paul, by the way. This is not good. I'm making notes on something. I don't know what. But then he sees this. No idea what that is. Assuming it's an eyeball. And he starts rocking. Oh, it gets it gets worse. Then he throws a fit. And he starts drawing eyeballs. And he just keeps on drawing eyeballs until the end of the video. So, yeah, that's not good. Um, you never see him leave. He just draws eyeballs. Uh, so he may have been caught. So that's why they said you're not supposed to look at that eye. I've looked at it plenty of times now. But anyway, so we unlocked a whole bunch of things. Um, phone contact. We got some mail. I guess we'll start with mail since there's just one. Thomas, are you ignoring my messages? Uh, please. You have to listen. There's something very wrong with Atlas. I can't explain more than I have. If you ever had faith in me, trust me when I say that it needs to be shut down. It's the only way to save everyone. Well, that's interesting. Um, there's nothing I can do, kid. The last two flags you raised turned out to be false. We've run every check, every measure. Zilch. Uh, I believe in you, but I'm starting to think that you've lost it. The only way to save everyone, listen to yourself. Uh, maybe you should talk to Morgan, uh, get a few days off. Your leaves are piling up anyway. I uh, can't have another incident like Jeff. Don't make the same mistake, Paul. Uh, Paul replies, if you don't do this, then uh, then I'll walk out with the prototype. You'll never see us again, and the deal will fall through. Your choice. Thomas, don't do anything hasty. Uh, we can talk about this tomorrow in my office. I'll see you at 9. And Paul, uh, Oh, no, this is Thomas again. Paul, uh, you've been missing for over a week now. This episode has gone on long enough. You proved your point. Where are you? And we already watched that video, so we know that he's still drawing eyeballs on <laughs> the second floor of his apartment or whatever that was. Oh, I have some messages from Thomas. I can talk to Th Wait, hold on a minute. Wait, what we got here? Uh, great with pitch. Work with playing highball, but you handled like a champ, took charge and showed no fear, color me impressed. Thanks, I pressed the mirror last night. The breathing technique you recommended me helped too. It paid off, I'm confident we have them. Between you and me, this jabber deal is crucial to solidifying Mira's position. What about Mayor Richardson and the town council? That's a bit more complicated. I'll tell you about uh, tell you this. It's better to keep our options open. To be honest, I'm not sure I like either choice. That's the beauty of business. You take it so long as it serves its purpose. For me, it's about keeping Mira afloat. So people can start to make a living here. Uh, they have a reason to stay, a future. Even if it means hurting more than half the town. Don't ruin the moment with this talk, Paul. You did good today. Let's leave it at that. Uh, Burke wants to meet again today. The Echo Lounge. Where are you? Where's the prototype? I had them scrounge through your work files and nothing turned up. Uh, I've been trying to reach you. After days of no contact, that's all you have to say. I don't know what the hell you think you're doing, Paul, but you better start talking now. Okay, I'm going to be honest with this one. Uh, this isn't Paul. Are you serious? For God's sake. Is that it? Who is this? What did you do to Paul? Uh, Paul's missing. Uh, 
Uh, what are you investigating? Him or my company? If if this pertains to Jeff, Mira is clean. I beg to differ. Look at this guy who's very diligent at his work. How, how did you get this? Was it Paul? He was raving about Jeff and then he... And then we had that fallout. I never expected him to go behind my back like this. Mira can't take any bad press right now. I'll answer your questions if you agree to keep this pri private. Understand? Uh, okay. What is that shadow in the video? He probably doesn't know. I'm gonna say a glitch. That's one thing I don't have an answer for. The night crew never saw anyone in the office, but Jeff, whoever it is, they knew our blind spots. If you're the gullible sort, like most people in town, they try to tell you it's a ghost. I hope you're smarter than that. I'll ask him about the him and Paul's fallout. We had disagreements before, all business. Before, before his emergency, he warned me to shut down the social media plugin on Atlas for safety, cited some security breach. Of course, I refused. Paul panicked. He even threatened me. That was the last time we spoke. Uh, why do you want to shut it down? Safety. I don't know. He didn't explain. But I'm sure he knew the answer. He said there was something spreading like a virus. To be safe, we did a full security sweep and everything came back green. Look, I built this company from nothing. Paul's one of the greatest assets and I grant him a lot of leeway. But this, I need more than good faith. Miratech is my life's work. Okay. So tell me more about the video. Jeff was in charge of a big project, had a lot on his soldiers' shoulders. More than Paul started to lose focus. Uh, he requested overtime. I said no. I negotiate the project timeline instead. Contrary to belief, I'm not that cruel. Clearly, he breached that. When I found out, uh, we came to an arrangement and shifted his hours. So you knew he was here at night. I did. It's unconventional, but it was all by the books. Found out when I had a late night of my own. He was at his computer staring like in the video, thought he zoned out from being overworked, so I sent him home. Just to be sure, I checked the logs. He was there every night for almost two months. What? Look, I fully cooperated with the police on Jeff's disappearance. What more do you want? Uh, is there a connection between Paul and Jeff? All I know is Jeff improved our sharing algorithm and Paul wanted to stop it. Maybe there was one internal competition. I should have paid more attention. But what's done is done. They're both gone. Miratech is my number one priority. I will not let it go down. Believe it or not, it's a critical pillar of this town's development. Um, what, ooh, what will you do to save it? If he answers that. Sai, you're as stubborn as they come. That shadow in the video, apparently that isn't the first time it was spotted. It's not natural. I found someone who can identify what it is exactly. Really? Go on. So you're looking for this ghost, right? There's this mystic in town. Oh, it's probably starry eyes. They call themselves the mistress of the night, uh, but they only commune with others in their circle. Nonsense, woo woo, magic stone creek stuff. Uh, let's see, sounds... Uh, how convenient. An uncontactable contact. I'm getting there. My team found this video when I asked them to scrub Paul's work machine. It's a means of contacting your mystic. From the chatter on our servers, they'll have your answers. Uh, okay, so... Where is it? You may not be able to tell me that. Interesting. Uh, so that's what we needed. That has to be that starry eyes unlockable that we needed. So I did my part. Just take this and do whatever you want. Now I have to get back to some real work. If you find Paul, tell him. Tell him I'm sorry and I should have stopped him from leaving. All right. 
Uh, so we can unlock this. What? What the heck is unlocked? See our antiquities. Look at all this stuff that just unlocked. Oh my god, what? What is this? You, you lied to me. You called from Paul's phone, didn't you? Well, shame on me. I should have recognized the caller ID. Here I'm watching the station asking for a non-existent police officer demanding justice for Jeff only to realize I've been duped. Oh, this is Morgan from the uh, mirror tech place. Do you know how much trouble you got me into? Now they're thinking of pressing charges for creating a scene, throwing words around like interfering with police work. God knows how many of these guys are in town in the town council's pocket. Uh, they're not going to let this go so easily. You could have told me the truth. I would have helped. Maybe you don't care as long as you get what you want, asshole. You'll you'll get what's coming to you, and I hope it hurts. Wow. Uh, okay, what can I do to make it right? Oh, uh, I got blocked. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, well, see you, Morgan. Um, so we're actually going to stop right there because it did just finally save, which is fantastic. That video, that hallway scene was the worst thing I've seen in a while. So that was fantastic. That's gonna night my, uh, haunt my nightmares. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoying this. I will see you in the next part. Huzzah!